Welcome back, this is part 2 of Out of Curiosity. We opened this gate with the key that we've had to risk our life to get in the underwater area. We've come to this sort of room full of graves, and we have to pull a lever, and that one practice I missed the lever. i pull this. I can't remember what it does actually, it opens some kind of doorway. Now this section coming up, we go through this kind of, um, by the side of this thing here. That thing there with the Omega thing is, that's a doorway but it isn't open yet. There's a boulder that rolls down from behind us. Now, we have to get to the bottom pull the lever and this thing rolls down. The very annoying thing is the level builder and the guide says that you have to basically get Lara to basically climb out of the hole while the cutscene's going with the boulder coming down and you can't cancel the cutscene. We have to get into that niche right there. It's practically possible. I tried it. It's very difficult. But I found a workaround. What we can do is drop down here. Don't drop down too far because Lara will injure herself. We have to climb down a little bit. Now, pull the lever. What you're supposed to do is climb up, back up where we've just come from and go to that niche. But half of that time is a kind of a camera going to the boulder and showing it coming down. You can't cancel it. It's very difficult to do. So what we can do is crouch in the corner and it will avoid us. But you've got to go into the corner. You've got to do a thing where Lara's kneeling, which is not on all fours. Lara, hurry up. It's coming. Get right there. No, Lara. No, we can't do that. Kneel down. That's it. And stay there. And it should just come down. Because it's very unfair. It's very tightly timed. And it doesn't give you a... Is it landed, Lara? It doesn't give you any... There it is. It doesn't give you any time because you can't cancel the little camera thing it does. Imagine doing this while it's showing you boulder rolling down, rolling down. Now you can come back and see what you're doing and it's right on top of you within about three seconds from there. It's very unfair. It opens a door but we're not going to go through that yet. That's cruel, that was annoying. But you can, the guy said you have to run into that niche, but it's not. It's very difficult. There's another part where the guide is actually wrong later on, I'll come to that later. Climb up here, now where that thing was, where the Omega symbol was, that's where the boulder came out of that did. Climb up here, Lara. Lara, what are you doing? We need to go up. There's like a weird kind of water effect. We can go through this gap here. And this is the first stone. We're after three stones. And because we have to get an anchor on at the end of the game. So we need three stones. Here's the first one. That's what we've been after. They go into this weird receptacle thing later on in the big room. There it is, Devil's Eye. Only three of them. And they're all very difficult to get. So we come back here. We have to go back down again. And where the boulder went down, it opened the doorway. And it could lead to an absolutely huge room. Which is it's one of Lara's favourite things, this room. It's full of skeletons and things that can kill us. We go down here and remember the end of the where we got down is a long drop, so you've got to be careful. We have to basically grab onto the wall and do a backwards jump through this wall because we can't get into it. It's too high up. But if you fall down the bottom here, Lara has trouble getting out because of the boulder. I don't think you're supposed to be down there if you fall down there because the boulder stops Lara standing up properly. Uh, trying to get this right and she keeps hitting her head on the back of the... No, bugger, Lara. We've got to get to the sides where the boulder is or Lara can't get on the wall. This is a good thing level build. You did a really great job on this one, has to be said. You can't sod him or grab onto the wall. Lara, we've got to get out of here. Uh, no, we're facing the wrong way. We need to get onto the wall, Lara. Lara, that's it. Jump up and grab, and then just let Lara get her feet, and then do a backwards jump. And Lara should get into this gap, because it's difficult to get onto this. There we are. This room is a lot of fun. Oh, lovely. There's, I thought there might be a camera thing happening there, but it doesn't happen. Shows you this, um... Rather annoying room. And I thought, how the hell do you get down there? And I thought you have to kind of do a backwards jump. What we have to do, again, not obvious. These pillars, you can actually stand on the sides of them. Where the red material, like marble is. And another one of those rooms where nothing is obvious. And it's very confusing. So we do a run and a jump. 
Those gold cubes, we can stand on them. Come on, Lara. Now over there, that thing, that's where we put the jewels. But we've only got one, and we need to get two more. So we have to jump onto this thing. There's a lot of jumping down, and they're not, they're not very generous with health packs on this level, so you've got to be a bit careful. Jump to here. I've fallen off that lots of times in practice. We need to get over to here. Now, there's a whole lot of doors we've got to open, and it looks very confusing. And it is confusing. But I'll try and guide through the level. So, put the first one in there. Oh, this is unbelievable what we have to do next. We have to basically jump down, but it does take some health. It takes a little bit of doing. The lava can do a kind of a roll before she lands to limit the damage, but it's very annoying. Worth a save. Did a lot of saving on this. Slide, jump, or she'll just fall straight down. It takes a lot of her health. It's very annoying. There's a lever over there behind us. There's a gate over there that opens when we put all three jewels into that thing. Down below is a number of doors. Ah, oh, it's just very annoying. We have to get... Ah, oh, I'll explain it in a minute. Jump to this. This brings a rope down over the other side. So we need to go up into another area later on. So pull that first. Lara, we have to be careful. Then we have to go and open another door. So there's a... Yeah, there's the rope there. We need to go there later on. Jump down. Now, Lara, what have we got to do? There's this block here. We need to make that go down, and behind it is a room. There's a torch here. There's a clue. We need to get a piece of wood and light it to open another door. But you have to be careful because you can open the block there that we came down that block there which you need to pull it up and down to get up and down later on if you let the skeletons out because there's skeletons in the room they'll not stop bothering you and beating you up but we need them to break a pot in that room there there's an alien on the floor so it's a lot of fun this this bit there's a lever it's fairly well hidden but it's not impossible to get out it's just down the sides of one of these rooms here it doesn't open that gate so there's the here it is this doesn't open the door behind us. It makes that block go up and down. So we can get access to a room. Lower, lower. But there's a key un underneath of it. There it is. You can push that block with a skull on it, but don't don't go in there yet, because if you let them out, they won't stop bothering you. So we'll do that later on. What we have to do is get the key. And we have to pull it we we'll have to go back and pull this lever again. Because we can't get up again otherwise. Which is a bit silly. I want to have a ladder. Because it's a bit cryptic. If you're coming into this level and you want to play blind, it, it is a very challenging level. So we go back up again and we have to open a the door. There's another one of these doors. This is fun when the skeletons are chasing you because they'll get onto that block. But they can't chase you up here. There's a door, is it over there, Lara? Yeah, there's a door over there. And if you fall down, you have to climb back up again, so it's worth saving here, just it's safe getting up and down. So don't let the skeletons out yet. Go to here first. Lara, be careful. Okay, remember, we've got the young Lara, we don't have any guns, we can't defend ourselves properly, so... Oh, they didn't give us the... Uh, arrows, because if Lara didn't have a gun, surely she could have a bow and arrow. I wonder if I can do that with young Lara. If someone makes a level with young Lara, she can have a bow and arrow. That'd be interesting. The bloody, bloody skeletons are... This room's fun. We have to get the piece of wood, but it's not as simple as just walking in. It's one of these... things we have to do. The jumping backwards and forwards. Getting back here is impossible. Very nearly. The piece of wood is over there. Ignore those unlit lamps on the wall. They don't mean anything. Don't have to come back with it. Because Lara can't put the piece of wood into the inventory, she has to hold it. So she can't climb anywhere with it. We only needed to open one door anyway, so it's not a big deal. Lara, Lara, be careful, Lara. Right, we come here. 
So I've all those lamps, we don't need to light those. That's a bit misleading, that is. Pick this up. Do we have to go back? How do we get back? There we came. And we get burnt if we go down to the bottom. And either side of the central pillar where we were standing is more fire. This one, you've got to be, you've got to kind of do a timing thing and steer Lara towards the thing. And this is a bit of a kind of a hit and hope thing. If you try and do it on purpose, it's very difficult. It's kind of Lara. See what happens, you just fall down here. Lara, Lara, this is fun. I shouldn't blame Lara, it's the level builder's fault. It's a lot of fun, Lara, be careful. You have to kind of just kind of steer her and try and jump when she's at the top rather than the bottom of the slide, if you know what I mean. And she'll kind of just get it or she'll just fall straight in it. Thank you, Lara. That's very annoying. So we've got to get back. Uh, we have to light the, this thing by the lamp that's down here that's lit and open another door by lighting two lamps. This opens the room with the alien in it. Apparently you can burn the alien. The problem is the statins will attack you so you'd have to do it before you let them out. I didn't do the secret for this one because uh, you need the skeletons to break the pot where the... Where the um, is it the jewel or is it the key? I think it's the jewel. The second jewel is. But they're on you. There's about seven of them. So you can't... I don't think you can... I might be wrong. You might be able to stand at the bottom, but I didn't do it. So you have to break the pot, but we can't break it. If that was real, Lara could just kick it over or tip it over or whatever. So we have got to get those skeletons to come out. Which is fun, because I bloody chase Lara and she can't defend herself, so... They're fairly easy to avoid though, because they kind of mill about and they butt Lara to the side, usually. You kind of have to stand fairly still for them to attack Lara, so... Not too bad, but it is annoying. So pull that, that thing, that thing goes down again. And we need to go into here. Push this, and it, I thought about... What if you could trap some of the skeletons, but you do need them to break the thing, so... And they will walk through this block, actually. Push, 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 Lara. This is a bloody carry-on, this is. Push this, yeah, it leads to a room. There's a lever and a gate. You can trap some of them back in there if you're fussed about doing that. There's the gate. But you do need at least one of them to come out, and a couple of them do. So if you don't like all of them coming out, you could trap them in there, some of them, but you do need at least one of them to follow you out. Go to here. There's a room, a pedestal and a couple of pickups. You can pick these pickups before you activate them, because if you activate this, the skeletons, you can't pick these up because they're on you. Well, maybe you could, but it'd be really annoying. Pick this one up. That's what you're going to need these, because we need these for later on. We need to take this skull off the pedestal. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and we're back in part three. <laughs>